Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I am Crazy Kirby 97 I'm Shadow Toast. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Stucky. Use the control stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press B to dive. Go on, give it a try. I will give it a try when I feel like it. We're gonna go swimming later! He's climbing in your windows, snatching your people up. I, uh, I've been, uh, I've been, uh, intruding windows lately. Oh, what? What? Okay, my, my girly voice is not half as good as it used to be. I was just, I'm sorry, guys. I can't do it anymore. I used to be able to do it really good back in the day, but, uh. Because it was a girl back then. Ha! Wait, what? Don't spill the beans, people. Okay, so I forgot to go over honey, honey, call, honey, call, and we'll not grab the extra life. I'll just worry about it later. Ah. Yes, trophies are extra lives. They just kind of give you an extra life. <coughs> um, hollow honeycombs, or whatever you want to call them, will basically get six, and they'll give you a, a upgrade your health. They'll have, like, pieces of heart, or whatever you want to call them. But otherwise, they're useless. And I'm not a big... I'm not, I don't know, useless. Why am I saying useless? Well, yeah, they are kind of useless, because it's a very slow method of getting your health to raise. But you gotta grab them all for 100%. 100% seriously. Hey, Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, you muncher. Not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the control stick to climb up or down. Okay, we can go up and down. That's two directions that I am very fond of. Please don't quote that. Especially your teachers. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. I plenty of other things to climb. That well, uh, um, I I just had to make that dirty. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, and the Wing Wonder can press B to use her wings. So basically, uh, Banjo is very slow yet controlled. <laughs> Stop. Very slow yet controlled flaps. Whereas Kazooie has very fast, yet very difficult to manage, uh, wing flaps. Um, I use Kazooie for wide open spaces, but when I'm going into alcoves like that, I prefer using Banjo so I don't get myself drowned or whatever. Uh, Banjo's thing is not the stuff to use in later levels, though, because there are levels that are completely underwater, and you will drown. Um, it wasn't the idea of infinite water air in those levels until Banjo Tooie. So until then, we're just going to continue playing the hard version of the game. My beak barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs short stuff. Hold Z to press B for a powerful beaky barge. Now, that one quote there. No one's noticed this yet. At least I have legs is indeed something a prostitute would say. <laughs> Kazooie reveals all. Now anyways, um, another thing I was going to go over real quick. Um... Uh, what was I gonna say? Yes, uh, that's right. This is not the Xbox 360 version. This is the Nintendo 64 version. <laughs> the difference is, on Nintendo 64 version, if you die, you lose some items. That's the only difference, and the graphics are a little worse. But, I do happen to own the Xbox version, and I played both versions all the way through. So, if you guys need a little, like, tutorial, or differences, guide, or whatever, I'm your man. So you break this rock here with the beak bars. See, Banjo, she is useful for something. I'm trying this out on Blue Mountain View next, Jam Jars. A uh, little uh, bit of trivia there, Jam Jars is actually a character in the second game. There is a second game, if you didn't know that. It has such a bad name, though, that if you just saw the name on the internet, you would never guess that that's the second Banjo Kazooie game. Although, if you saw the cover, you would easily guess it's the second one. Spoiler! It's uh, Banjo Tooie, obviously. No, it's not a spoiler, it's just a sequel out. And yes, I'm, like any other game I play, I do plan on playing Banjo Tooie really soon. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right after Banjo Kazooie. I actually have about two or three other LPs planned beforehand, but I will be doing it soon, probably sometime this year. I will probably have the Banjo series done by next year. Maybe. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about Bird Brain? 
Just try it, Bottle Boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. Okay, so here's something with a challenge. Um, he doesn't move. Um, the challenge is you gotta press B. If you walk into it by accident, you fly off, nothing happens, your health bar is perfectly fine. This is definitely a challenge. He also stares at you. This is kind of creepy. Wow, nice one. Try another. Oh, hey, I want some moves. Okay, so my quality is just shit today. I don't know what's up with that. I will fix that in one of these other episodes. No, dude, this is the hardest attack to control. And this is the weakest attack as well, so don't use it. Now, try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find balls for you to practice on. So he's an onion. That was painful. Um, so rolling in this game... Oh, he's actually moving. So rolling is actually a better attack to get used to. Um, it does twice as much damage as the punch, and it's a lot easier to control, as you can see. It's so much better. Bullseye. One more. Stop rolling. I feel sick. So just as another record, I will be doing the sequel. And unlike any other elf here who clearly have not played them, I will be doing the um, the non-canon games on the Game Boy. Thing is, though, I'm only going to be doing Grunty's Revenge as of now, and I will probably end up... I'm not going to do Nuts and Bolts for a long time, and I'm probably not going to do Banjo Pilot ever because I don't own that game. I need to get a copy of it sometime and actually play it. I've heard it's okay. It's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. It better be a good one, Squiffy. Try out the Ratatat Rap by jumping and pressing B in the air. Now, where is the Collie Wobble? Where's Collie Wobble? That's what I said thug for. Okay, why the fuck is a, move, is a move in a game full of southerners called the Rap? Mm, not bad, Featherface. Give me another, Bog Eyes. And I'm that? I, that's appropriate? That is appropriate? If you didn't know Bog is actually a prefix that means poop. That's it, you've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the Spiral Mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. So I say this is a good LP so far. Uh, 20 minutes, we've already got the intro done. Very long intro, I know. We got another one. Shut up. Anyways, so I don't know how I'm going to record this, because the levels in this game, uh... Let me just be honest, the levels in this game, there aren't really levels, there aren't areas more, like, because, basically, you don't get to the end of the levels in this game, you find all the stuff in the levels, and then you leave and you feel like it. You don't have to find everything. And, basically, the levels in this game are all focused around collecting objects and items and collectibles. And, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Some of the levels draw all the way to the beginning. All the beginning, like, the first three or four levels are only about two or three episodes long. That's about it. But then, as you get farther, you're gonna take about five or six episodes. And the final level takes me about ten episodes. I don't know why, it's a long one. Hmm. Not joking, I'm about eight. I'm gonna be honest, one eight. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gratilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I am so excited to record this game. Shut you up. Now, I'm not excited about dying, but I'm excited about recording this game. And by dying, I'm not dying in the game, guys, seriously. And, uh, just for the record, I will have a bonus episode after this. There's nothing really to show bonus episodes about. Any references or cameos I will show as I play this game. But one thing I will be doing as a bonus episode, I happen to own a Game Shark. If I haven't said that to you on Mario 64 in a request that I should use 